Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my grandma's nails for Mother's Day, even though it's not um, Mother's Day anymore, but I had previously recorded this. Um, let's just get right into the video. First, I'm going to take some um, alcohol and just spray her hand with it. This really just removes like any dirt, um, and it's like a prep to start removing the natural oils from her nails. And I'm going to now take a file, taking the 180 side, and just shaping her nails and making sure that all of the um, sides and nails are even. And I'm just going to do like a short a circle shape. Um, I forgot what you call it. Um, for all of her nails. Now I'm going to start buffing her natural nails and basically what I'm doing is removing the um, shine that she has and this will help the gel stick better and if I didn't already mention this I am going to be doing a gel manicure with the Beatles gel polish that had already opened in last week's video and that's really basically the whole manicure. Um, and I'll be back once I'm done buffing all her nails. Now I'm taking my dip oil bond, which is a dehydrator, and I'm going to apply this to all of her nails to again dehydrate all of her nails from her natural oils because this is what causes the gel to lift. Now I'm taking my Model Ones primer and this primer is just basically to bond all of the gels together to her natural nails so this will help it last longer. Now I'm going to take my Beatles foundation gel polish and I'm going to apply a nice thin layer to, the, to all of her nails. With working with gel, you do want to make sure that you keep the layers thin or else when you do go in to cure the lamp, especially if it's not like a low heat or doesn't have a low heat mode, it can cause heat spikes and it's going to burn. So just make sure that when you work with gel, use thin layers to prevent heat spikes or getting it on your skin. So for today's color, I'm going to be using number 806 from the Beatles gel polish collection that I reviewed again last week. And I'm just going to be applying a thin layer to all of her nails. Um, like I said, keep the layers thin and you won't get heat spikes or you won't get it all over your skin. And I'll be back once I'm done painting all of her nails.
So I am now back and she asked for her ring finger and pointer finger to get some glitter. I'm going to be using um, 805 from the gel polishes and I'm going to be applying a thin layer. I don't know why again it doesn't look like it has a lot of sparkle. It's more of a holographic pink glitter in real life but it just doesn't pick up as well um, on camera. For the rest of her fingers, which is her middle finger, her thumb and pinky are going to get another layer of the um, purple color that she chose earlier. I'm going to take my Beatles top coat or top gel and this is a glossy version and I'm going to apply a nice thick layer to all of her nails and wrapping, um, well not wrapping but coating the edge of the nail so it helps prevent chipping and will make the manicure last longer. Spray her nails 